Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. This week we've got a new moon and it sure is a powerful one. That's because this new moon is in Gemini, but so is the Sun, Mercury, Vesta, the North Node and Venus. So you imagine what punch of love and transformation that's going to give us. We have the Sun and the new moon trying to retrograde Saturn. And then we have quite a tricky Venus square Neptune. Here's your weekly astrology. Capricorn, how are you doing? Well, this week it's all about understanding the liberating opportunities of changing patterns and the way that you work. And this isn't just some airy fairy message, it's deeply profound because this new moon is conjunct not only the sun, the moon, Venus, Vesta and the North Node. I think there's one even more in there. No, that's it. So what does that mean? It means your whole focus is on changing things, but it doesn't mean big and dramatic changes. It means you're tweaking your energy and you're making a commitment to yourself, or you potentially make it, I suggest you do, make a commitment to yourself to kind of slightly move things around in your life and take care of yourself in new ways, because it's about the evolution of your soul and spirit and about you later on being able to take advantage of the energy you've got to achieve great things. We have you thinking about your health and well-being and thinking about your day-to-day -day routines and how you can shift them. You might find yourself working really hard this week, but when you do work hard, it's likely to pay off. Moon and Mercury are trying Saturn, the Lord of responsibility and of course your divine ruler so that's going to be very very good for you and it's saying there's something in your past that you can take advantage of now now that you see things in a different way now you're prepared to take care of the details because you've got the time to take care of the details there's something that you were building up something that could offer you abundance and security that could come back into your life or maybe it's just a new project you're thinking about now but whatever it is you have the strength and you have the power to do it and there may be someone coming to help you with that. You might also be talking with somebody from the past that you had a long-term relationship with that at one point made you feel secure. If you're not talking to them, you're processing in your mind what that relationship meant to you, what your soul contract was and what it means to your life now and what you're gonna take forward when it comes to your relationships. Even if you've been in like a 10-year relationship, but there was another five-year relationship in the past, it's not about necessarily the people per se, but it's about your your learning experience in your relationship so it's deep deep stuff but you are prepared to go in there do the digging and get the job done because you are the most tenacious and the most kind of if, if you've got a job to do and i'm telling you it's hard you go right i'm in i'm going to do it because you know that you can succeed keep believing in that success and make it happen not only this week but to come because you're going through an evolution of spirit at the moment and it's going on for 18 months and it's going to be supremely important but it does focus on your health and well-being work and shifting day-to-day -day routines and patterns so maybe you take a little infantry 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 um. oh my lord not infantry because that it's is about infantry. infantry jesus christ mercury's not even retrograde it's just everything else is spinning me along anyway infantry um an inventory of your day-to-day -day routines and, and patterns and what you can do to shift them because tiny, tiny little shifts are going to bring big rewards. Now, the only kind of thing that we all have to watch out for this week is Mercury and Venus squaring Neptune, the illusion. Don't let anyone kind of bamboozle you with a get fit quick, not get rich quick, get fit quick scheme or a radical extreme diet because it's probably a load of old crap because Neptune is making everything illusionary. It's making our soul think, oh, give me a quick fix or let me let me do something that makes me feel good in the moment. So avoid that. Anyway, you gorgeous creature, come and visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight. You take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hi, gorgeous. Before you go, check out my new film on my fabulous psychics. A lot of people ask me for readings. I don't do them anymore, but for over 20 years, I've had an award-winning team of psychics that I truly handpick. So check out the film 
Let me know what you think. The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope. It's about guidance. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.